Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about earthquakes and earthquakes is another real world application of logarithms. So I've done videos on doubling and half-life, which are other applications. Earthquakes is pretty exciting. We get a new formula to use which says that I1 over I2 equals 10 to the power of M1 minus M2. So that means the intensity of one earthquake compared to the intensity of the other is equal to 10 to the exponent the magnitude of the first earthquake minus the magnitude of the second earthquake. So let's do an example to show you what it's all about. I have what magnitude of an earthquake will be a hundred times as intense as a magnitude 6.9 earthquake. So the intensity of one earthquake is 100 times as intense as the other. So I'll just represent that with the fraction 100 over 1. Well, it's 10 to the... We don't know how big the first earthquake is, but the one we're comparing it to is a magnitude 6.9. So 100 over 1 is the same as just 100, because 100 divided by 1 is 100. So to figure out what this is, I'm just going to take the log of both sides. So I'll go log base 10 of 100 equals, we have to use the power rule of logs. That says that the exponent comes out in front of our logs like that, as m1 minus 6.9 times the log of 10. So I'll just divide both sides by log 10 of 10. Those will cancel out. Log 10 of 100 would just be equal to 2. Log 10 of 10 would equal 1. So I'll get 2 equals m1 minus 6.9. To figure out what m1 is, I'll just add 6.9 to both sides, and I'll get 8.9 equals m1. So an earthquake that is 100 times more intense than a magnitude 6.9 would be a magnitude 8.9.